Hey everyone, I'm back again with this uh, Union Industrial that I picked up on Craigslist all the way up in Appleton, Wisconsin, but this time I'm back with it on the test rig that I newly built because I want to see what kind of current draw I get and what kind of wall control I could use if I use this, which I do want to use this. I just got to, I want to repaint it and get a shorter down rod. Well, actually, my bedroom, this down rod, would actually be perfect. But just to review, let's get on the other side of the blade here so I can uh, to focus. 1.2 amps, union label. And look up here. Union for ESP. Interesting. Yeah, I know CEC made for Kevin ESP. That's that's interesting. But this is basically before Envirofan bought these. This is what they bought from. So this is actually a union. But I also have one on the shelf. Just like it, but in uh, more of a white, bright white. That's labeled Envirofan with the model number of the gold line so this is essentially a gold line blades are the same as the old gold lines three rivets with the triangular brackets as you saw but without further ado I'm gonna start with zero to high to get the current draw on high since there's no pull chain so here we go 1.05 was my in rush and it just quickly dropped to 0 0.96 95 94 93 it's dropped even more so it's I measured the capacitor the capacitor tests actually above above its written value of 9.5 microfarads and this is I don't know if it's actually good, but it seems good. Runs fast enough for me on high. Let me go under it. Wow. This thing is really, really strong. Crouch down. Oh my god. I could certainly put this over the drums as well. I definitely would. So, I'm going to take the camera. and go back here and get in place oh yeah oh wow this is definitely a gold line this is like old gold line at least Uh, canopy's rattling, but that's okay. Alright. Now we've gotten the airflow test, and I got the current reading of 0.93. I'm going to uh, do spin down. Let's see if I can get... I treated the bearings with WD-40. See if I get a little uh, slower spin down, a little more gradual. Okay. Might have done something with the bearings there. Spraying WD-40 in them just to re-moisten up the grease. Yeah, lubricate the bearings a little. Well... Okay, well, I don't know if that might be a little abrupt, but let's see what I do on the decade box. One, two, three, four, five, 
Okay, it's up. Oh, it's starting on five. It's just going. I'm gonna, and I'm getting 0.21. It's definitely not gonna stall. Very aesthetic low. So I think five eight thirteen with this thing is a little too low. That's another thing. Basically, this motor being cast iron and rated at one amp. This thing is kind of a pig especially to get it going so okay but that's an aesthetic low for those that like that alright six with point two five and we got seven with point uh, two nine that's not a bad low now here's eight with point three three now I'm gonna let it give it a moment to speed up and see that maybe uh, this is an acceptable low speed I wouldn't mind this low speed if I put this on an 8, 12, 20. I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'm not going to go over on an 8, 12, 20 due to this thing being kind of a pig. But that is definitely an acceptable low for me, at least to have a low speed that's functional. I just want to see what I get off of this. Yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely a good low speed right there. Here's 9 with 0.37. Here's 10 with 0.4. And then here's 11, 0.45. 12, 0.48. Give it a little bit, give it a moment. So that's a good low medium. If I used an 8, 12, 20, that would definitely work. Oh yeah, easily. 8, 12, 13, <coughs> point five one, 14, point five four, 15, point five seven, 16, point five nine. 17.61, 18.63, 19.65, and here's 20 with 0.67. I'm just going to see if it goes any faster where it's at. Yeah, yeah definitely an 81220 if I'm going to use a 4 speed on this, which I have a couple of those. I definitely have one at home and and of course I have one one here on the wall for my uh, blender fan all right I'm just gonna 20 here's 21 0.69 I'm just gonna keep going up I want to see if I go over and hit any resonant frequency with the decade. I'm at 30 with uh, 0.79. 31. 35 with 0.83. 38, 0.84. Max out. 0.85 is what I get if I hit high. 9.4. Right now I got 0.84, so. All right. So you're definitely safe. You're probably best using an 8, 12, 20 with this thing for four speed. Since uh, 
since this is kind of a pig. Now I'm going to check it with the variable solid state control. All right, let's see where it uh, starts. Okay, I didn't quite catch it. It was a little sudden. Okay, 0.33. All right, 0.42. Four nine. Let's just go up and listen. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a noisy hum, kind of a buzzy. Let's just uh, take the camera up to it. Yeah, it's. I would. I don't know that I would want a solid state on this thing. At least. Well, if it's in this room, like where my uh, blender fan is, I could get away with solid state because we're playing loud music, so. So it don't matter, or in a loud environment. 0.54. Point seven three or seven four. It's like a good high medium right here. I mean, point eight. Point eight four. Eight five, eight nine, and here's high, and I'm getting 0.91 amps. But it's fast enough. I mean, if this were going too slow, then I would do something with the capacitor. But it's definitely uh, not uh, anything I'm worried about. Other than that, that is all for the uh, Union ESP Industrial, and I'll see you next time with another fan. Thanks for watching.